Hi, I'm Paul Curtin, aka Hen Trebivore on YouTube. I'm a personal trainer and nutritionist on a mission to show the world the amazing power of vegan whole foods, both in terms of sports performance and the prevention, treatment and even reversal of chronic disease. But I haven't always been vegan, far from it. Up until about five years ago, I was probably eating more animal products than anyone else you've ever met. I was in such a rush to grow muscle quickly that in the end I was consuming 500 grams of animal protein every single day. I'd work my way through a 10 kilogram box of chicken breasts and guzzle down 42 pints of milk every week. I'd cram in lots of tuna and eggs and the odd steak and wash it all down with copious amounts of whey protein. I'd been sold a lie. I mistakenly believed that we need meat for protein, milk for calcium and fish oils for omega-3. I've since learned the truth. Virtually every single essential nutrient in animal products originally came from plants. Take protein for example. I like to break it down like this. Meat is muscle tissue and it's made out of plant proteins. Whether that animal ate the plants directly or ate another animal that ate the plants, that's where it all comes from. Whether we choose to ingest protein from animal products or the original plant source, our digestive system breaks it down into its constituent amino acids before it enters our body through the wall of the small intestine. Once inside our bodies, we build these amino acids into whichever proteins we require. So in terms of muscle growth, the source of these amino acids is completely irrelevant. However, to eat meat for protein is akin to eating mud because we're after the water what we don't want is all the excess baggage that comes with it. All the cholesterol, the trans fats, sat fat, natural and artificial hormones, antibiotics. The sad fact is the vast majority of Westerners will die at their own hands because of what they choose to put in their mouths. Now naysayers will tell you that a vegan diet cannot be natural for humans because it lacks two essential nutrients. While in warmer climates, such as tropical areas where we evolved our physiology. We produce all our own vitamin D from the action of the sun. And before the advent of sterilization, we got all the vitamin B12 we needed just for our drinking water. Times have changed, many would now benefit from a supplement, but it's not just vegan. Around two fifths of the Western world are reckoned to be B12 deficient. And on average, an omnivorous eater typically consumes around 130 IUs per day of vitamin D in their diet. Most health authorities now put the figure we need at more like 2,000. Now some interesting stats. Did you know that on average, vegetables contain 16 times the amount of nutrients versus meat? If we look at that on a cost basis, that makes vegetables 48 times more nutritious and the anti-cancer, anti-aging, antioxidant nutrients are 64 times more prevalent in plant foods versus animal products. So now tell me, who's more likely to be nutrient deficient? Since my progression to veganism, I've more than doubled the strength of my eyesight, cured my hay fever, and the chronic tendonitis that would plague me from all the heavy weightlifting and bag punching. My clients have had success in reversing type two diabetes, liver disease, and depression, among other ills. Indeed, Norwich City Football Club captain Russell Martin cured his long-standing ulcerative colitis after following my advice. I've had the honour to speak about veganism multiple times on TV and radio, including the BBC World Services News Hour. The interviewer tried to trip me up by asking if vegan and meat-eating bodybuilders have to compete separately. No, I replied, which I think is unfair to the meat-eaters. Actually, I wasn't trying to be a smart answer with that remark. I truly believe it. There are so few vegans in the world, relatively speaking, but there are already so many world-class vegan strength athletes. Kendrick Farris was the only American to make it to the last Olympics to compete in weightlifting, where he set a new record for the country. Patrick Baboumian has broken three world records in strongman. The most prestigious bodybuilding federation, the IFBB, is now home to two vegan pro bodybuilders. Nimoy Delgado has never eaten meat in his life and Jahina Malik has been vegan since birth. 
My old training partner, the then reigning Mr. Universe, Barney Duplessis, has noted several health and performance benefits since switching to veganism. While we were on the set of upcoming movie The Game Changers, he inspired bodybuilder Carl Bruder to switch to veganism. The producers paid Barney to write Carl a vegan nutrition plan, and Carl went on to win gold at the WABA Amateur Grand Prix, which you'll be able to see documented in the film. The Game Changers crew have been all over the world filming all the top vegan athletes, world leading scientists, and even special ops soldiers that are fed a vegan whole foods diet. And the film is set to blow the lid on how not only is this way of eating viable for athletes, it is in fact optimal. If you feel the same way as me about veganism, or you just want to learn more, I'd love to have you become part of the Hench Herbivore community by subscribing to the channel. And I look forward to getting to know you all in the comments section.